Hey, I'm Darsha. Welcome to my season, How to Beam DIY Teleportation for Hybrid Times. So the main concept we're going to be looking at this time around is what exactly does it mean to be present in today's hybridizing time? We're inviting three artists, all working with emerging technology and also this very much hands-on DIY style of doing things. And I'm asking them to sort of hack this concept of teleportation as a way of thinking about our current state of presence. Teleportation more as a state of being and less of a way of getting somewhere. So where you might see teleportation in the way that it's presented in Star Trek, where you just get up onto a platform in your cool Star Trek outfit and your body dematerializes and shows up on some other planet, we're more in the state like the scientist in the movie The Fly, where he climbed into his teleportation machine, unbeknownst to him, with a fly, and when he comes out, he's transforming into a grotesque fly-type creature man. And I think we, where we are with our state of digital presence is really at this state. It's awkward, it's uncomfortable, and we don't really know how to make use of it. So we're at the early stage in this experiment. And all of this is really related to my experiments where I drag old technology that I find on the street or I pick up from people's basements and I do experiments with them. And I do this because I want to understand how technology works so we can understand a little bit more about the big ideas and politics and ethics that go into building up these systems and structures that we use every day. I'm interested in taking this way of investigating technology in a very hands-on way and transporting that into the residency season. All of the artists that we're working with are not only using technology as a means to make artwork, but they have a lot of questions for it. So this will definitely be integrated into the season as well through various workshops, meetups, and interactions at the end of the season when they're presenting their final works. Something else that I'm really looking forward to is something called the Virtual Visitor Werkstatt, where we're inviting a group of emerging artists, designers, performers, technically minded people to think about alternative modes of being a virtual visitor. There's a lot of room for growth and experimentation in that field. So I want people to really think intensively about this concept and make prototypes for virtual visitors that we're going to be presenting at the end of the season as well. It's going to be a big experiment and we really hope you join us. <laughs>